Good morning from Stockholm, oh, Sweden. So loud. It's too early. Take it down a notch. <laughs> guys, we're going to Groenland today. Guys, sorry. Guys, we're going to Groenland today. Thank you so much. Last night we flew in here from Helsinki. These are the final two days of the trip. We got Kolmarden coming up tomorrow. This is gonna be super exciting. And I'll be more excited in like an hour when I'm yeah. awake. Joining <laughs> us for the last two days of the trip is the guy that was here for the beginning of the trip. Surprise! Yay! Yay! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> hey, you, you've been to these parks before. I have. But you got a new ride that we're both That's pretty right. excited for. Monster. That's right. The big new B and M invert should be pretty awesome. Yeah. And we'll just show off our little uh, hotel because we had a pretty, actually terrible experience <laughs> last I'll let, night. I'll let Yannick tell this one. Yeah. This is absolutely <laughs> horrible. So we had a hotel in the center of Stockholm. Right, it was perfect. But we walk in, and first off, there was some weird guys staring at us. Well, mostly at Sarah. Then um, we uh pay. Which was a mistake, because we should have looked at the rooms before, which we didn't. So we walked down, right? And there's holes in the ceiling. There's, uh, and the trash can wasn't emptied. <laughs> that was a puddle in the bathroom on the floor. Um, the toilet seat wasn't even, was broken. was broken. The faucet was broken. There were no like pillows, <laughs> no blankets, no sheets, no towels. I felt like, it as was, a girl, I felt like very unsafe. I was like, mm -mm. We canceled it. And we found this place, which is booked it, at, and came here at midnight. Yeah, it's not like in Stockholm, it's like a little bit outside, but you know, it was what ten dollars more overall. Oh, yeah, it wasn't too much. So, we're well rested. We got Gronoland at four o'clock today, they're open late, so we got a little bit of time to kill. So, we're gonna go into the city, walk around. We're gonna go to a really cool museum that has a Viking ship, and it is right next door to Gronoland. So, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. So, let's go to Stockholm, Sweden. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and, and hurt you. I don't think I got the moves right. <laughs> I definitely did it. Look at this. This is at a subway stop. What the heck? Look, it's the theming for Pantheon. They kept it here in this random subway station. Holy cow, that's insane. What's insane? That's insane. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at it, it's insane. Oh, yep, that is insane. Yep. I did not expect to be back at Grenolin so soon, but I'm not mad about it. That looks so cool. The drop is so twisted. I also can't wait for there to be a coaster one day right there in the form of probably like a Vacoma, like a tilt coaster or something. Future expansion of this place, it's looking bright. The museum that we're walking to is right here, literally next to Groenland. So after we're done there, we'll just walk straight into the park. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I'm like awestruck looking this at this. This is unbelievable. And guys, if, in case there's any question, this is like 100% real. Like, not a replica or anything. This is insane. Could you imagine seeing that out on the water? That'd be like, like freaky. I'd be like, well, we're going down. Okay, <laughs> this thing is absolutely enormous. Holy crap. And there's like multiple levels so you can go down, you can go up. I am absolutely blown away. This, this is, is one of the coolest parts of the entire trip. Like, make time to see this. Make wow. time to see this. And I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that. They have some information about the ship right here. It literally sank on its main voyage, and then they pulled it from the water, and it was preserved because it was brackish water, and wood is preserved better in there than salt water. They also have a model of the ship right there, what, like, what it would have looked like with the sails and everything. That's unbelievable. Well, that was like the coolest museum I've ever been to. I... I think it's the coolest one I've ever been to as well. Yeah, like, like legitimately. the sheer scale of that was incredible. Like, yeah. I seriously cannot recommend that enough. I mean, we were in there for like 
an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Like, it's well worth your time. I'm thinking about back when we were in Paris and we went to the Louvre, and there's like this massive winding line to see the Mona Lisa. And the Mona Lisa is like an eight and a half by eleven, cool. like piece of paper. But then here, it's like completely. You walk just in, the biggest ship, room. like wooden ship you've ever seen. I'm like, man, this, this should be more popular. Yeah. More people need to visit this museum. That was totally unbelievably good. We're back in Washington, D.C. So Doesn't it just feel like home? Not really. What on earth is this? We're just like walking through Stockholm and there's just all this random stuff. I don't know what to feel. I thought it was like a mini golf course or something at first. Is this like modern art? <laughs> What the heck, Sarah? What did you order? I ordered a calzone. I thought it would be that like... That is the biggest that freaking... Big. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Yannick, of course, ordered a full pizza, which you're already most of the way done with. I still want to like, eat two more after this. <laughs> Dude. It's so good. <laughs> Overall, what do you think of Stockholm? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so, like, charming. And, I don't know, it's beautiful and colorful. I love all the waterways. Like, seriously, guys, if you're coming out here to Groenland, I mean, the park is literally in the middle of the city. Like, it takes some time to explore the city. Like, it is so well cool. It. it has a very different vibe than a lot of the other places. Yeah. Guys, maybe you should just go here instead. Honestly, I'd be fine with that. I was the best. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, want to just go get our rides while Honestly, she goes to the Abba? true Groenland. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, it's just me. <laughs> Groenland, and look, there's a pumpkin in the O. And there's Monster. Here's a look at Monster right here. Right here is the ticket booth, and they're talking about putting coaster over here because I guess the parking lot is just on the other side of these buildings. Welcome inside Grunelund and it is already crowded. And it's already popping. We got Thriller playing already. <laughs> the Halloween decorations are in full force. Pumpkins everywhere. Look at this. Giant oh, spider. Cool. <laughs> and this is a spooky tunnel. This is cool. I like this. Oh, we got scare actors. Here we go, Monster, our first ride. There's like a really nice chandelier right there. Like what is this? Nice I know. Oh, never mind. Well, queue is empty, so good sign so far. Now we're going down below ground. They have an underground station here at Monster. And by the looks of it, it's a walk-on. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We just took our first ride there on Monster, the BM Invert. Um, it's fun. It's definitely cool. Again, like just the fact that they've squeezed this ride in is like insane. It feels like a more tame like version of like the typical BM Invert. Like I feel like I'm more used to like getting my ass handed to me on these things. And these this things, one, I was like, I'm yeah, losing. I'm good. It wasn't as forceful or as intense as some of the others. Um, but it's fine. I, I look. Like, yeah. You say the zero roll is like a perfect zero. The, you just float through it. Yeah, we sat in the back and is it on the short side? Yeah, but like honestly the fact that they like managed to build this ride in the first place is like well, this totally is like, fine. Well, here, turn the camera so you can see. It's literally like this little tiny building facade yeah. and it leads to this giant underground station and it's on this. Yeah. And it's like kind of insane how they made it fit. I've only been here for like five seconds so like, I don't really know the park layout but it doesn't seem very spacious. Yeah. And they no, have a beat it's not. freaking invert which is a huge space. I know. Pepper? Yeah, it's very it's impressive. So, yeah, what, what did we get as far as G forces? Uh, 4G max. Okay. The first drop, pretty intense, but the rest. Yeah. Yeah. The first drop was definitely the most intense part. I thought. The first drop, I was like, it feels like, like that Banshee, exactly. Just on yeah. a smaller scale. I could agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I think we should try again in the front row. Yeah. 100%. It's gonna be a lot different. Let's do it. Well, the line for the front row is always gonna be longer on being a inverse than the rest of the rows. This still was not a bad wait at all. Take two there on Monster. We just rode the front row. Uh, I think we all liked that better. Yeah? I did. 
sorry, they're jamming out over here. All right, yeah. let's walk away from that. <laughs> I'm too distracted, yeah. I thought that, um, I feel like overall, I usually like being immigrants in the front center, which I know I'm in the minority there, but I stand by what I said, that it's a lot tamer. Like, it feels like the word you use is flowy. I agree with that. And I'm used to being an inverts, like, trying to, like, uh, but you did get more airtime in that one little spot yeah. up front. I don't know. I'm out of breath. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think, Yannick? I thought it was actually better than the front. The drop isn't better for sure, but uh, like I thought most of the valleys in the second half of the ride were more intense. I always love the view on BNM Inverse, so I mean, that's an obvious plus. I think it's really cool, like seeing all of the different moments that you're just flying past, which is really neat. And so uh, I definitely enjoy it. I, I made a, a comment earlier that, like, I don't know if I 100% agree with my own comment, but I said it reminded me of how wing coasters feel. Because it's like new gen BM versus old gen BM. Like, so you had those old school inverts, they have a very distinct feel. And this does not feel like those. It's more like Banshee. But of course, it doesn't have the best restraints. Um, but how some wing coasters feel, like how they're gracefully going through each element. Um, that, in a way, it reminds me of that. This is one of my favorite, like, wacky characteristics of Monster. So there's multiple points when they just have one massive support column told up parts of this ride. Like, this thing is so huge. <laughs> Look, it's supporting, like, this entire helix. That's crazy. Right here by Monster's first drop, they have fire pits. So you can just keep warm. Ooh, feels pretty nice. <laughs> just sit here and watch uh, the coasters go around. This plaza was so different last time I was here. Oh my gosh, it's crazy to see a B&M invert. Like, that is just wild, man. There's another one of those massive columns. That is so freaking cool. Like, any park that is like tight on space, it's like, oh, we don't have room for anything. I would like to point them here and be like, I promise you, you can make room. If these people can do it, so can you. All right, next up is Insane, one of the only intimate Zach spins left in the world. We just did Kernu the other day. Good luck. Thanks, I'm not ready. Yeah? Cheers. Hey, want to know what it's like to ride Green Lantern? Not really. Well, here we are. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. Okay, all right. Oh, it looks like we're punching cool. into the wall. We are punching into the wall. Yeah, I told no, you. No, I don't want to do it. Uh, no. Oh, God. Ah! Whoa. Ah. Oh, we flipped one time. <laughs> you good? I don't want to do that again. Me neither. All right, well, <laughs> what did you think of that? It was, uh, you were very off balance, like, going towards the drop. We were already like leaning towards. I was like, oh my, what's, it's gonna be bad, but it wasn't actually this bad. It, it wasn't as, it wasn't How many times bad. did you flip? Once, towards the end. Yeah, that's what we did too. Yeah. It's just not comfortable. Yeah, I didn't really like it that much. If you're visiting from another country, you're probably gonna notice something when you come to Groenland here, and that is the gender neutral bathrooms. Definitely something that you gotta get used to. Basically, everyone walks into one room, and then you just like join a stall. The, the doors go from like floor to ceiling, so you know who's in there. Ah, it's just very different from what we're used to here in the United States. Was it, that a unisex bathroom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I wasn't one too. It was kind of weird. Like it was all girls. I was like. And you're from Germany, I, and you're still, you're not used to it either. Right, I'm like, am I in the right bathroom? So. Yeah, literally, like, I remember the first time I saw one, I walked in, there was a girl there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in the wrong one. Like, <laughs> like it's just crazy how they do things different yeah. here, you know? This nighttime atmosphere is so fun. This is something that you don't get at all when you come to Groenland during the summer, and it is cool. Last time I visited Groenland, I said Icarus was my favorite attraction here. This is their sky jump drop tower, very similar to Falcon's Fury. Let's go for a ride. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> These things kind of freak me out. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks awesome. We're gonna tilt facing the ground. Oh, Jeez, this thing is tall. Whoa. Oh, uh. oh I hate these rides. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them so much. Jeez. Oh my God, come on. Yeah, that's better than Falcon's Fury. That is more kick to it than Falcon's Fury. It's also scarier! 
Oh man, that thing's awesome. We're getting dinner at this kebab place. You can get some meat, you can get falafel, all looks really good. And the winner for the longest line we waited in today is the kebab place. We waited 30 minutes to get our food and only half of that was standing in the line. The other half was waiting for the food to arrive. Man, it is a zoo in here. And I thought Cole Martin was tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I get it, because it's a... Uh, <laughs> you ready for the best drop power in the world? I'm not even kidding. What? So good. Bruh, so good. no way. All right, this drop tower is freakishly tall. Yannick put us on the side that is just the traditional free fall, but you said there's a second version? Yeah, it's the tilting one on the right side. It's like a high fall at Movie Park or Acrophobia at Over Georgia. Okay, so you're like standing up, but yeah, pretty you much. think this one's better? I do think so. I is do remember this being better. Is your um, male parts? Uh, might have been. I actually don't remember. <laughs> Look at that view! This is beautiful! Stockholm! Sarah, how are you feeling? I mean, it's my second drop tower of the night and I prefer to do zero. Yeah, and there's like four <laughs> here? What? There's like a thing in front of us. Whoa! Oh! Woo! Oh, that was big! Oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't too bad, honestly. It's pretty good! It's not the best drop no, tower it's, ever. No, Sorry I, I, about that. Alright, since we're here in October, let's talk mazes. They got five haunted houses here, and one of them is directly in front of us. So, this is their normal fun house that they converted into a haunted fun house. And I think this has the longest line the park has right now. It's about an hour wait. But we do have a couple jet passes that we got. So, jet passes are the park skip the line that you can use as an experience press pass so that you can bypass the regular line. Oh. So this is definitely one of those attractions that we're going to take advantage of that for. Wow. That is actually horrifying. Don't look at me please. That's scary. So what do you think <laughs> of this park? Would you say it's a bit of a bore? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, this one might be the coolest looking. They literally brought a haunted house out on a boat that you board right here. And it looks very Chinese inspired. That's so cool. This is how pathetic he is. <laughs> <laughs> this man. Hey, when was the last time you did a haunted house? I uh, like 2019 with you. It was Fuji Q. Eh? Bro. <laughs> uh, do you need us to hold your hands? I actually do. Like, not. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'll help you out. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh, dear. <laughs> wasn't even bad. That no, that wasn't at scary all. at all. And y'all know that I'm kind of a limp. And I was You're like. Not. That was not. Yeah, yeah I am. You're well, just that bad. <laughs> The scenery was pretty, like it was basically just constantly acting. What like, scenery? It was a bunch of black walls. Exactly. Yeah. It was bad, bad. That's what I was going to say. Like, I'm not sure why it's decked out like a Chinese, like, building, because it was basically just a boat. But, like, it was cool. It's cool that it's on a boat. But, like, you unfortunately... Feel emotional yeah, but unfortunately, that's, like, the coolest part about it. Like, I mean, it was... It was very long. It was long, though. but... I don't know. There was there was nothing to look at. Uh, there was no story. The actors just kind of screamed at you, and like there's no like audio. It, it was a good stepping stone for you. Uh, I'm pretty you sure that one was the highest age uh, requirement. Oh, uh, so maybe 15 year olds. Like I look how tiny this log flume is. <laughs> These are some small boats. Oh, what the tunnel of love. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. I don't like that. I am not even sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> what do you do when it's cold? Hot chocolate. <laughs> All right, so next up we're doing the fun house, except now it is the not so fun house. So in Swedish, this word right here, minus the O, stands for the funny house. That's what translates to in English. But when you add an O to it, it means the not funny house. And so that is what it is right now. It's got a bunch of clowns in it. It's pretty cool. You got this! I'm holding on to you. Woo! Let's go. Woo! Ah! <laughs> so the not funny house was probably the best one because it's on the pre-existing, you know, building. Like, yeah, it was already a fun house. So. Yeah, exactly. So like it had all of the fun elements, but then it threw in some clowns and stuff. Not yeah. not everything was working. Um, but a lot of the effects were. Like it, it was a blast. It was really, yeah, it was really scary, but it was fun. So, I like the surprise slide at the end. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know like what to expect from the house. So then it's just like, tilt, boom, you're done. <laughs> Jetline with a zero to ten minute wait. It seems like that's the theme with all the roller coasters here is very short lines while the mazes have the longest. Bye, bye, me. This whole area is very 50s 
And I love this because Jetline Station looks like an old diner. So like, here's the side of it, there's where the track goes, and then there's the other end of it. It's like pretty awesome. So now we're taking a back row ride on Jetline. This was my favorite roller coaster at the park prior to riding Monster. I keep wanting to call it Jetstar. Jetstar, no. That's also a short stop. I know, I know, are we again? No, this, this is funny. We're like taking this like half like turn up the lift hill. Very much at, like uh, Olympia looping. Yeah. Or oh, Alpinabod. Look, there's the Star Flyer right there. You can see Insane over there. We're about to take a pretty cool first jump okay. into a tunnel. What? All right, all right. Woo! of Alpina Bond. Yeah, oh, oh my god, this might be better than Monster. Oh. Ah! 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 <laughs> so <fun. laughs> oh, oh, it's warm in here. Uh -huh. I like that better than Monster. Yeah, honestly, I still might too. <laughs> I swear, Schwarzkopf's aged like fine wine. The fact that that ride is that old and still runs so Bro. good. What? Huh. Whoa, that's a tall skeleton boy. But anyway. But Schwarzkopf. Dude, I literally said the middle of the ride, I'm like, how is it possible that these rides are so smooth? I don't understand. It's crazy. It's not even like, like they literally run smoother than like RMCs. Like, I don't understand. I don't know about that, but. Yes, they do. They, they're very smooth. Most, okay, I'm thinking like the Raptors. I guess the, the Ibox track, yes. Okay, okay. There's not even a little moment of like roughness anywhere on that ride. Yeah, and, and, and probably also part of that goes to how Groenland is maintaining that thing. Because they, like, they're running three trains on that right now, and it is running like a dream. That thing is more forceful than Monster. I like, like that better than Monster. It's so impressive. It's been a couple hours since we've done Monster, and now that it is night, let's see how it rides. A couple more laps there on Monster, which brings my ride count on this thing for the day to seven. Uh, so actually that worked out quite well. I was able to re-ride a couple times due to some empty seats while Sarah and Yannick went off to do the drop tower one more time to end things off. Uh, so, you know, overall, as we're watching this thing go up the lift, I gotta say, it is enjoyable. Uh, if you're from the U.S. and you haven't gotten the chance to ride this yet, the Inver I would most closely compare this to is definitely Banshee. Um, it even sounds the exact same. It rides very similar. Uh, it's a bit... You know how Banshee does, it feels more drawn out than some of the other inverts. It's not as punchy, kind of more flowy. That's that's how this is too. Uh, but this is a fun night ride. I really like all of the lights, um, just how it glides around the whole park. Um, I think the beginning of the ride is the strongest with the first drop and uh, that perfect just zero G inversion. Um, and I wish that a couple more moments were, were as whippy as some of the older inverts. It def again, it definitely feels new b and versus old b and but that's not a bad thing. Like, uh, the ride still has forces to it. It's not as intense as the older inverts, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad ride by any means. I, I think it is a very well-designed attraction. Like, and, and definitely, I think that's, when I think about it, a lot of those older b and inverts are probably too much for a lot of people. I don't think this one will be. So, I, in that regard, I think that this is definitely hitting a much broader audience than some of those other inverts. Just like that, we're on our way out of Groenland, saying goodbye to all the pumpkins. Taking transit back to our hotel. Bye, Groenland. You were a fun time. How was your time at Groenland? It was really fun. It was very exhausting because of all the traveling we did before, but um, it was really fun. It was great. Hey, what did you think of the park? Well, I didn't get to see much of it in like daylight. Yeah. But the night atmosphere was very fun. Night atmosphere was very fun. Yeah. I think they need like another strong. Well, it sounds like they might get that in the form of Bakuma. On our way over to our hotel, we're stopping at a place called Max Burger. Definitely one of the popular fast food chains here in Sweden. And we actually ate here last night when we arrived in Stockholm and it was pretty good. So 
We ordered more food. I am on a journey across America to find the best fast food chicken sandwich, and now the journey has gone worldwide. Max Burgers, crispy chicken sandwich. All right, chicken sandwich was good. It was definitely more spicy than I was expecting, but it's pretty solid. I like it. How's your onion rings? And your Pizza Hut. I got beef with this because you only have shown in the videos the few times that we are not eating local food. We literally ate boar, we ate reindeer, we ate blood. Excuse me, this is local food. Max Burger. <laughs> you guys have way too much energy for this. On your left. Bah, 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 bah. Wow, okay, Captain America. <laughs> there are Swedish deer over there. Hey, you guys, come back. Why do we have to book a place on a hill? You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> More stairs. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Long day, for sure, uh, but super productive. A lot of good stuff in there. It's now past midnight. We gotta be up early tomorrow to go to Kolmarden, which is gonna do it for coasting through Europe. Uh, that's the last part. You said that last time. What? <laughs> that, that it was gonna be the end of the series. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> well, this is the actual end. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, no, there's no longer going to be a part three. Well, what was your favorite part of the day? And why was it the giant ship? I was literally about to say, I feel like it was the giant ship. Was that bad? <laughs> I don't know. It was I pretty freaking line, cool. It was awesome. Giant ship. What was your favorite part? Uh, definitely the two drop towers. All right. Anyone say a roller coaster? No? Well, I thought Monster was fun. That was cool. That was definitely a highlight. But tomorrow we got... An even awesome roller coaster. That's a word. Uh, wildfire is going to be a heck of a way to end things out. So, Can you just acknowledge the fact that I'm going to ride wildfire before I ride stupid outlaw run? That's hilarious. Alright, we're going to bed. Good night, fam. We'll see you tomorrow.